hi everyone welcome back to my channel in this video i just wanted to show you some of the items that i have been using on my face or body for the last month or so um we're heading into march now but some of these items are new to me some of them are not some of them are repurchases and some of them are just things just remind me to grab this that I've had to get from the doctor because if you're not new to my channel I've had bad skin well it's been playing up it's been dry like I don't know how to show you this dry patches like this which I do keep picking and like dryness in here my face all that sort of thing and I did go to the doctor in January and she said she thought some of it was a bit of stress eczema now the only other time, excuse me, something there. The only other time I've had stress eczema was when I was at college. I started breaking out like dryness here in my hairline, behind my ears, at the back of my hair there, and it's just awful. I also, I'm not going to obviously get my brace out on camera, but I've got like a sweaty heat rash that I constantly get under my brace. I don't like say I've been off work, like I don't work the weekends and Mondays. It can clear up within that time, but as soon as I get back into work and I'm sweating. So I just want to share with you in case one, you're interested, and two, you suffer with the same sorts of things. So as I say, I have a mixture of things in here. I am not saying that these are brilliant or in the sense that they're, they're clinically proven to treat eczema or dry skin care conditions but this is just personally what has worked for me i don't know what i'm going to title this video but anyway so we'll start off with the kind of non-exciting stuff that you can get from the doctor and this is, is making sure it's not got a label on it, my address anything this is dermal lotion 500 so it's an anti-micro microbial emollient and moisturiser for the management of dry and itchy skin conditions especially eczema and dermatitis and for use as a soap substitute so basically I've got this one which was actually prescribed to my father my late dad for his dry skin on his legs but he never ever used it it's still in date it says December 2020 and as it suggests, you can either just use it, putting it on, use it all over your body as a cream, or you can use it in the shower as a soap substitute. And obviously my dad passed away suddenly. But I was just like, I'm not going to throw it out because it's handy to have and it's still in date. And I actually started using it more than him. Now and again, when I'd have dry patches or maybe something was irritating me and I would think, right, for a wee while I won't use anything scented. So, but I also have another one of these in my bedroom that I got from the doctor when I went to her in January. So I've been using this not all the time. I keep this one here on the table beside me at the sofa. So if my hands are annoying me, like they're starting to get bits of dry patches. Don't know if you'll see them, but like on you know, like my knuckly bits and in between my fingers. So I can just apply this and what have you. The only thing that is a bit of a ball ache with it is, say for example, you are going away for the weekend or on holiday, you don't really want to take this with you. So you'd have to find some kind of tub or something to put it into, decant it. But yes, Dermo 500, it's really good. It's fragrance free and things. What does it say, directions? So it says, they say, uh, for application to skin, apply the lotion to the affected areas and massage gently into the skin until absorbed, repeat as often as required. If you're using it as a soap substitute, use it as a cleanser in the bath or shower or for other toiletry purposes instead of ordinary soap or shower gel, but make sure you have a slip mat in your shower or your bath because you don't want to be falling. Uh, ingredients. It's just... It, it, it does say do not use in cases of known sensitivity to any of the ingredients. So obviously if you're going to get it, have a look at the ingredients. But I think pretty much it's a safe bait for your skin. So that's the first kind of non-exciting medical kind of thing you can get. 
and then you can also get the shower gel. Now, I've only had this twice in my life. I first ever had this from the doctor when I was at college in Glasgow and then obviously the doctor gave me it again there in January. So this is the Dermal 200 and it's a shower emollient. So it's an anti microbial shower emollient and moisturizer for the management of dry and itchy skin conditions especially eczema and dermatitis so it's the same as that but for whatever reason it's maybe slightly less like it says 200 on it and it basically says the same instructions for that in the shower it says use as, as required use instead of ordinary shower gel or soap Pat dry for application to the skin, e.g. after showering. So you can use this like the cream after. It says apply to the affected areas, required a massage into skin until absorbed. And it says on this, caution, take care to avoid slipping in the shower or bath. So again, this is dated to January 2022, but it's completely empty actually. And what I was doing was I was using this. First of all, I was using it all over my body. And then as things started to calm down a bit, I've just been concentrating under my breast because that's where I get that itchy rash. And using it on the intimate areas just because you shouldn't use anything scented down there anyway, really. So yes, this is completely done. There's absolutely nothing left in it. I don't even think you can take that off. It's just a white cream with a that it's absolutely completely empty. So I don't know uh, um, whether I should maybe ask my doctor if I could have this on prescription. I'll maybe ask her about it because it's handy to have, even if I don't use it all the time, it's handy to have in your cupboard for flare-ups and it's obviously got a good sale by. I'm not even sure if you can buy these just from your chemist or what have you. Um, I'd have to look into it. So that is the medical side of it I suppose so there you go and obviously that's going to be in my empties now moving on to just products that I have or have got or have been suggested to me that's a been no surprise to you if you're not new to my channel this is the Elmis sensitive cleansing wash I use this in the shower mostly and it's just a gentle cleansing gel and I just love it so much it seems to work well for my skin. So if you've got sensitive skin or you like the brand Elemis, you, you want to just give it a try, you're curious, then this is one thing that seems to work for me. So basically, if I was told or I, I discovered that I was like, I need to stick to a certain thing, I know this doesn't affect my skin and I love it. So yes, I highly recommend this. The next thing... Because I do YouTube and also even if I didn't do YouTube, I'm the kind of person, yes, I will admit it, I get sucked in by packaging, I get sucked in by watching other influencers suggesting things and I'm the kind of person, there's so many different brands I'd like to try things from. I, before I did YouTube, I was like, I'm going to be that girl that sticks to this perfume, sticks to that brand of makeup, sticks to that brand of skincare, but I just don't. Like at one point I was like... I'm going to pick one brand of makeup and I'm going to stick to it. And for a while I was like, Bobbi Brown, that's going to be the brand I'm going to stick to. But I just don't. When it came to skincare, I was like, right, I'm going to stick to Clinique Moisture Surge range. By the way, that is a great range and great for sensitive and, say, dehydrated skin. But I just don't stick to it. So... The next product that I've got the now, I'm really sorry, I'm so itchy just talking about it. This is the Sukun Australian Signature Cream Cleanser, which is paraben free, a nourishing combination of rose hip, avocado, and wheat germ leaves, skin feeling clean and soothed. It's for normal to dry skincare. And I've never used this brand before until now. And I got this and this item here in a swap box with the lovely Jill from Drop Dead, her channel's Drop Dead Fred. And as I say to you, and I'm being completely honest with you, I'm not going to bullshit you and just say things for the sake of it. I've been using this cleanser. I've got a cupboard. I could show you my skincare collection if you like, actually. Um, I've got a cupboard and it has different brands of cleansers. Like I even thought to myself at one point, I really love Pixie skincare. I'm going to stick to that. And maybe one day I will just go, you know what, screw it. I'm going to stick to the one brand. But 
because I've got stuff to get used up. But I've been using this since January when my skin was bad as well. And it seems to be okay. So as I say, this is a cream cleanser, normal to dry skin. And it says, our indulgent cream cleanser works to remove makeup, oil and dirt build up on the skin. A blend of rosehip, avocado, sesame and wheat germ oils nourish and hydrate while an infusion of aloe vera, cocoa butter, nettle and horse tail leaves skin feeling soothed, clean and refreshed. So I've been really enjoying using that. Now, in conjunction with this, I've spoke of this before, I love to use my Foreo. This is a silicon cleansing little device. I've got this one. This one is unfortunately the mini one and it doesn't, you can't recharge it. So once it's done, it's done. Which I do think is pretty shit considering the fact, I think it was £29 for this. And it's perfect because it's small enough to get into all the wee nooks and crannies. So what I've been doing is I've been using this cream cleanser on this and using it on my skin. And mixing it up and using this with this as well. I don't use this every single day. Again, I probably should, but I don't. And it just seems to work. It works so well. I cannot stress enough how great these Foreos are. I think they're worth, worth the investment. But don't get this one. Get the ones that you can recharge. Because, obviously, even though it's going to be a bit more money, you can reuse it. I, I am kind of gutted that eventually this is going to be done. So it's got the little power button there on the back. You just press it and it buzzes. And then you just use it all over your skin. I've got makeup on, so I'm not going to do that. And it's waterproof, so you can. I use it in the shower. I use it just at the sink. I love it. They come in different colours, different sizes. You get ones that you can connect to an app, which are obviously going to be a bit more expensive. And it gives. I'm sure you've all seen it. It gives it the whole rundown. But I highly recommend one of these if you're into your skincare or you're getting into your skincare. These are brilliant. I've heard, I've seen people going about the Clarisonic ones. I think that's from a pins and needles, from a I don't know if it's Clinique or what have you. And I've never tried them. And I know that you can get little pads, you know, the silicon pads and stuff. They might work just as well, where you're not having to spend the money on this. Maybe even try them first. But this is one hype that personally I think works. It makes my skin feel more clean i feel like it's really getting in there and i just love it i also think you can get different ones for like oily skin combination skin and all that jazz i'm not exactly sure which one this one is and i do have another one a bigger one a pink one which i haven't even used yet i've, I've tested it to see if it works obviously but because this one is small and dinky and this is handy to travel I even used it on my partner. I was just like, try this. And I thought he was going to really like, get off me. And I don't know what he thought of it, but he used it as well. So, it, you know, I really, really rate the Foreos. So if you haven't, try it. If your birthday, Christmas is coming up, or you want to treat yourself, put it on your list. Oops, it's fallen over. And it's cute as well. <laughs> so yes, I've been enjoying that now. We'll move on to the this other one. So this is the Sukin Original Hydrating Mist Toner, paraben and alcohol free with chamomile and rose for all skin types. Again, I got this from the lovely Jill and I got it in a swap box that we did. And I've seen the brand before. I think you can get it in Holland and Barrett's and I'm sure you can get it on Feel Unique as well. Again, it's got none of the nasties in it. And as you would imagine, you know, I've got makeup on, but you can just, just a light spray. And my skin seems to be fine with it. I love it. You know I love a mist. If you're not new again, you know I love a mist. And I can't say enough about it. I would happily use this brand again because it does seem to work fine with my skin. It's a bit saturated there. But yes, so they're a brand that I suggest. Moving on, this little bottle of loveliness is just my absolute favourite. 
of course, it's Pixie. Not sponsored by Pixie, but I wish I was. I would love it if, if I got PR from Pixie because I literally, genuinely, 100% hand on heart love their skincare products. I can't say much about the makeup because I don't actually have any of their makeup, but their skincare, yes, completely. I would recommend them to anybody, any age. They're brilliant. Not only are do they have great ingredients, and they're affordable. They're just, I love it. So this is the Hydrating Milky Mist with Hyaluronic Acid and Black Oak. And this one is the Youth Preserving Mist. Now who doesn't want that? It smells divine. Oh, it's just got a light scent to it. I don't want to spray it because I've just sprayed that one, but. Oh, I love it, love it, love it, love it. Now, the first time I ever picked this up and tried it was when I was down at my best friend Emily's in York. I think I got it in Marks and Spencer. Yeah, that's what it was. It's fourteen pounds for eighty milliliters, which I think is okay. Might seem steep to some people for a face mist. I think that's great. So I got it, and see, from the moment I got it. I think it was a couple of years ago in May I picked it up. I was literally spraying it morning, noon and night. Anytime I could get some of it, I was loving it. Shh. And even using it two or three times in one day, this lasted me a good month or so. So you're getting your money's worth. It's a, as it says, it's a feather light mist on moisturiser that provides a surge of hydration with hyaluronic acid to plump skin by trapping moisture. Added black oak with pro-vitamin A, Linolylic acids, I don't know if I've said that right, and vitamin B1, B2 and B6 make it the ultimate remedy for thirsty skin. You can use it before makeup to moisturise and prep. Nighttime is the perfect first layer of moisture. Anytime gives a burst of hydration. It's paraben free and it's not tested on animals and I absolutely love it. I really do. So you can pick this up Marks and Spencers, you can get it off Pixie's site, you can get it off Cult Beauty and I really recommend it. I think even if you don't have dehydrated skin or hydration, I think hydration is basically one of the things that all of us want in skincare. I mean, I can't imagine why anybody wouldn't want to feel hydrated or have that extra bit. But even if you're like menopausal, perimenopausal, premenopausal, you're just someone that's hot, you just love that feel of a mist. Hello! So yeah, I highly, highly recommend this. And as I say, the first time I picked it up was in May a couple of years ago. I've had loads since. I've got this one. I've got a backup of this one. I will always, no matter what, I'm 36 and I am going to keep buying this. I love it. Thank you, Pixie. Okay. Oh, that was a bit of a tangent of loveliness. We'll do the next Pixie item. This is also from Pixie and this is the hydrating. So the same as this. The hydrating milky serum. And this is a revitalising skin boost. And it's great. It says, deeply nourishes dehydrated skin, restoring natural radiance and elasticity for all skin types. Use AM and PM daily, massage two to three drops onto cleansed, toned skin before moisturiser. Now, this is the first time that I've used this. I basically went on a pixie madness, I think at the beginning of last year and like ordered loads of their stuff. Maybe a bit too much, but I went pixie, Pixie Glower, and I picked up quite a few of their serums. Now, I have to say, I didn't get the rose one because I do not like strong rose scented things. And I haven't tried, oh, there's so many. I've got the Overnight Glow one, I've got this one, and I've got a couple other ones. And I sold the Vitamin C one on my Depop because I just thought, I'm not that arsed about vitamin C. Vitamin C can be a hit or a miss. I'm using their vitamin C tonic at the moment and it's okay. But I prefer actually, if I'm honest, the glow tonic, which is the iconic one. And again, even if you have sensitive skin or dehydrated skin or hydrated skin like myself, 
I found that the glow tonic worked pretty well for me. But anyway, we don't have, or do I have that? I think I do have it in my cupboard, but anyhow, I am losing my train of thought. This has been a little saviour. The one thing I will say, and you will have seen my... I don't even know, Julie, you've got like brain freeze. You'll have seen me mention this in another video before this one. But basically, the pipette, the dropper, it always proves me wrong. See when I go to, see when I go to use it. Are you kidding me? Me a tissue. When I go to use it on myself, it doesn't play ball. See when I come on camera, it's like, oh Julie, I'm gonna show you up. Basically, when you receive them, you get the bottle and this separate, and you take the wee lid off the bottle and pop this in, right? Now, normally, when I want to add it onto my hand to put on my face, nothing comes out of this. But look, it's making a feel out of me. So normally, what I have to do is take it like this and just scrape it onto my hand. And I will say it makes a right chuffing mess of the bottle, which is why I've got the tissue here, just to wipe that wee bit off. It's got a slight scent to it, but nothing obnoxious or anything like that. See what I mean? It just makes a mess. But normally, when I use it, the liquid doesn't want to come out in the pipette. So I don't use this every single day either. I go between this and this one, which is the Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid 2% and B5, which I got in a subscription box. And I've got it marked here because it, it was in my project pan last year. But as you can see, it's down to here. So I go between the two of these. Again, decent, don't affect my skin, don't react to my skin. Happy, joy, happy. So moving on to this ordinary one, you'll have heard of the ordinary, ordinary. <laughs> they're a reasonably priced brand as well I don't think this has got a scent to it and again it's got the pipette and you just add that into your skincare so what does it say apply a few drops to face AM and PM before creams what else does it say nothing but hyaluronic acid is another thing that is brilliant in your skincare and a lot of brands are starting to bring out hyaluronic acid in their foundations and stuff too which is so good so again two i would recommend trying out pixie hydrating hyaluronic acid from the ordinary what should we move on to next okay when it comes to a little bit of exfoliation which is obviously good for your skin it removes dead skin cells, it brightens up your face, it's just great, okay? But you don't want to do it too much. You get some products that are a daily exfoliant, brilliant. But the two that I have been using, first of all, I'm going to talk about this one. This is the Body Shop Seaweed Pore Cleansing Exfoliator with Mineral Rich Seaweed from Warming Water Bay Ireland. Now this is for combination oily skin. So you're probably sitting there thinking, Julie, you've just said that you have dry skin, that you have eczema, you have problematic skin. You're not going on about oils. Well, you'd be right. The only time I ever get oily skin is sometimes around my nose and it seems to be overnight into the morning. But I went to Body Shop when I was down in York at the time when I got the Pixie. And I went into Body Shop and I asked them if they did skin consultations, which they do, and they're completely free. So she sat me down, she asked me about my skin, we went through stuff, she was ticking stuff off in a sheet, then she took me around the shop and we were looking at different things. And she gave me samples of stuff. Now she gave me a sample of this and I tried it and I was like, wow. Just wow, it was great. My skin looked amazing. It looked so clear and just, I loved it. I loved the effect that I had on my skin. So naturally, I picked up one of these. But when I picked it up and I picked it up in the body shop in Dundee, it was on offer. So I picked up quite a few. 
So this is my second one I'm using because it lasts ages and I don't use it every single day. But I think you can use this every single day. But I've got like backups upon backups. I've got two in the little cupboard underneath my sink in my bathroom. I just love it. It smells good. And it's just a light, fresh scent. And it says clarifying and pore purifying facial exfoliator with jojoba beads and olive stone that leaves skin softer and smoother. And I love it. And again, I use it on my foreo. <sighs> love it. But before I got my foreo, I just used it. And I highly, again, recommend it. I don't think it matters whether you've got combination oily skin. Well, combination skin is basically when you've got a bit, a mixture of everything. Bit of oil, bit of a shiny T-zone, where it's not just all the one thing. So basically anyone can use it, can't they? So yes, I highly recommend trying this. If you don't want to go and buy the full size of it, go into Body Shop, ask if you can possibly have a sample. Another one I've got at the minute that I'm using is this Origins Ginseng Refreshing Scrub Cleanser. And this is from the Feel Unique Beauty Kit. And this one just says, keep entirely clear of eye area. So that doesn't really tell me much to tell you guys. But as you can imagine, the Ginseng range, if you don't know, smells of oranges, like vitamin C. Oh, it smells so, so good. And I would say it's got the same kind of scrubby consistency as the Body Shop one there. But it's just, I don't know, it's nice and I like it. And when I saw that the beauty kit had it, I just had to pick one up. And again, I've been using this on my skin for the past couple of weeks instead of this one. And again, it's not reacting or doing anything bad. It gives me that brighter complexion and I love it. And what I tend to do is exfoliate a couple of times a week and that's all you need. If it's one that you've got that does say on it daily exfoliant, then yes, you can use it by all means every day. But I really don't think, and when I went to Elemis and got my skin test, again, which are free, they said to me, you know, one of the steps in your skincare that you're really lacking is doing exfoliation. So start exfoliating, which I did. But she also said to me, do not over exfoliate because that is really bad for your skin too. So if you exfoliate, if your product says daily exfoliant, brilliant. If it doesn't, try and do it maybe once or twice a week or maybe every other day if you feel the need. But I know some people just scrub and scrub at their faces every day. It's really, really not good for you. The next thing is this Bobbi Brown Remedies. Now this is a number 86 skin moisture solution, intense rehydration compound for severely parched, uncomfortable skin. Sounds like me. So it says what it does, a concentrated infusion of moisture featuring hyaluronic acid complex that pulls moisture into the skin and supports skin's natural moisturizing factor. Now this little bad boy here is 14 milliliters it is 29 pounds possibly more but i kid you not this is my third bottle of this it is beyond brilliant i love it it says apply two to three drops on clean skin morning and night due to the natural ingredients in this formula there may be variations in color with each new batch now you're going julie you say you love it but it's brand new and you haven't used it yes you would be right i haven't used it yet and it's not scented, I do believe. No, it's not scented. But when I ran out of it, I was like, I need to get another one because it's handy to have. Literally, oh my God. One of my subscribers, Leanne, if you're watching, hey Leanne, I even got her into it. I think it was her or it might have been Emma, not sure. But I was just like, seriously, it's like a little potion of brilliance. I love it, love it, love it. Cannot recommend it enough. If you suffer with seriously, seriously dehydrated skin, it is worth investing in it. And you only need a little bit and it lasts ages. And it's quite a thick, I don't want to like put it on my skin because I've got, but it's quite a thick texture. So you only need the tiniest little bit, pat it on your skin, add all your other stuff, 
and fantastic. Really good for the cold winter months, which is mostly when I use it, but also in the summer because the sun can dry out your skin, air conditioning, all these different conditions. Brilliant. So I highly recommend that. I'm aware that we're getting really long in this video, so... Another thing that is new to me is this Japan's number one skincare line, Hada Labo Tokyo Lotion Anti-Aging Super Hydrator, Super Hyaluronic Acid Collagen and Retinol, and it's fragrance free. And Lisa Potter Dixon, who is a very no well-known makeup artist, she has a YouTube channel. She doesn't go on there much. It's mostly Instagram TV she does. I saw her going on about this and I was like, I have to have it. And yes, this is a very liquidy lotion, but it's an anti-aging lotion, super hydrator. It's an easily absorbed, rejuvenating facial moisturiser with lock-in moisture formula intended for frequent application. It contains super hyaluronic acid, collagen and retinol. I've only been using this for the past couple of weeks and I've actually only used it as a primer before makeup, but again brilliant can't remember how much it cost me but i got it from amazon love it the bottle broke but there you go this video seemed too long again origins mask glow canuts i think this was limited edition but i think you can still get it on some sites like i think you can get it in debenhams in certain places it's just a coconut mask it's really great it's quite a thick formula just leave it on you can sponge it off if you want i don't i leave it on overnight which is what i did last night and it's just really really helped particularly when my skin was so bad aloe vera cream from body shop again this is formulated for sensitive skin need i say more just a nice little cream. Got it in the advent calendar, but I'd happily pick this up again. My skin seems to be fine with it. It's non scented. Kiehl's Creamy Avocado Eye Treatment. Again, love this stuff. So good to go on my eyelids. Really helps. Love it. This is my second tub of this. It lasts ages. And I've also got another backup, two backups of that. And then kindly from my cousin's wife she is a body shop at home representative and she sent me some items and i was telling her i was having issues with my skin and she sent me the body shop body butter and this is coconut and i think this is for extremely dry skin i don't know if it says on it but yes i've been loving this and i've just finished a small one too it's really made a difference to my skin love it and i'm also using the shower gel and then the last thing is this Laneige, which I got from Yes Style website. This is a Korean brand. And this is the Lip Sleeping Mask in the flavour Apple Lime. Smells divine. Looks like this. Now, I put this on every single night. Sometimes even twice, two or three times by the time I finish reading my book in my bed. Before I go to sleep. It is good. But I don't know if it works, to be honest. Because... My lips are always dry and I keep getting this red rash round here and up here. I've got lip liner and lipstick and whatever on. And I use all different lip stuffs. Nothing really works for me. So if you can suggest something that genuinely does work and don't say Vaseline because that just doesn't work, then yeah. But I'm mentioning this because I have been using this for months and I still use it. So I just thought put it in so there you go this video is like going so much longer than i intended you know i'm like ramble on get stuck in don't edit so if you get to the end of it i really appreciate it thank you so much subscribe to the channel click the bell button all that good stuff and i will speak to you soon if you have any recommendations for skincare let me know and i'll see you next time bye